before we talk about the relief efforts, do you ever feel like the year's holding you back from living your life to your fullest? For many of us, stepping out of your comfort zone can seem impossible. But today, we're learning about the steps you can take to break free of fear. Let's now bring a certified fearless living coach who's letting us know the ways to better our wellness. Welcome, Kelly Fox. Welcome, Kelly, to the show. So Thank happy to you. have you here. I'm happy to be here. Thank Ke you. Kelly, first of all, let us know, what do you do exactly? Well, as a life coach, we are here to help guide and move people forward. So um, wherever you are right now, regardless of why you're there, we want to move you forward from that point. So whatever it is that you're looking towards, those goals, those commitments that you want to make to yourself or to, you know, something that you want to in the future, you know, how can we get you there? How can we support you? And what do you specialize on? Our specialty or my specialty is fear. So dealing with fear, I'm a fearless living coach. So uh, with fearless living, we want to look at your fear. And it's not just um, what some people might think of spiders or heights, but it's can you say I love you first, right? It's, it's all of those fears, the emotional, the physical, whatever it is. Because your fear actually doesn't know the difference between them. You're going to react the same way. That is super interesting. And Kelly, what is the difference between a life coach and a therapist? Okay, so a therapist is the one that's going to go back, right? They're going to go, okay, why is it that you feel this way? Did something happen in your past? Life coaches don't do that. We go from where you are right now and forward. And how do you support others so they could take those risks? Yeah, well, we have all different kinds of tools, and any kind of life coach is going to have different tools. At Fearless Living, we have uh, lots lots of tools so the best thing to do would be to get with a coach or <laughs> um, something to that effect but um, there's a lot of ways to find tools in um, all over the place you can go to fearlessliving.org um, you can look up me at <laughs> um, or different coaches but um, one that I love one of my favorites is acknowledgments and acknowledgments are how you acknowledge yourself for taking a step out of your comfort zone so regardless of how big that step is right it could be a new thought you didn't actually do anything but you uh, you thought hey I think I might go to the gym today right you didn't make it there but you had that thought and that's right. something to acknowledge yourself for and then as you gain that confidence you'll actually go to the gym and as a life coach, Kelly, what is a risk that you see that people constantly have? Well, I think high expectations of themselves. Like they feel like they have to do, um, because they know, they feel like they have to then do. And there's a huge gap between knowing and doing, right? We may know something, but that doesn't mean we can just automatically do it. We have to practice it. You know, the first time you do anything, you're not going to do it right. You're going to mess up. There's going to be mistakes. And that's life right so as you continue to practice it have that mindset of practice mm -hmm. then you can keep doing it and keep moving towards where you want to be exactly and Kelly for those who are watching and they want to take control of their life how can they do that well I think just even being aware of what it is that you want to be different mm -hmm. is the first step and then once you discover okay what is it that I want to be different then ask yourself am I willing to take the steps to to change am I willing to take the steps to do something different am I willing to ask for help um, so I think that's really the starting point is being aware of what it is mm. and then what are the tools that you have to offer uh, well, yeah. Like I said, we have a lot of tools. Yeah. Um, Acknowledgements is one. Um, and other things that we talk about are, you know, writing intentions, and that's a way to move past expectations. Um, we talk about gratitudes, and we talk about holding ourselves accountable with life logs, and, um, which is where you track every half hour of your day. <laughs> <laughs> and then the topic of fear. How, what is fearless living? Fearless living is um, an an institute, it's what Ferris Living Institute, and it was put together by Rhonda Britton. Mm -hmm. um, and she is the founder, and uh, she's the one that put together the life coaching program, which I graduated from. And uh, it's, it's all about how we can understand how our fear speaks to us, because our fear speaks to each of us in different ways. Like your fear might say, 
something to you and something my fear says something different to me. So learning how your fear specifically speaks to you, it's easier to then know, okay, that's my fear talking. I can, I I know I'm going to be okay, so I'm going to step forward anyways. And I'm glad you mentioned that. What is a language that we should avoid when it comes to dealing with the fear? With the fear. So a big word that people use is should. I should do this. I should do that. And it's not empowering when you say should. So if you can shift just that one word to can or want, yeah. it really can make a difference. Like if you say, I should go to the gym or I want to go to the gym. It really does have a different feeling. One feels a lot heavier and one feels like you're more empowered and you're choosing to make that choice. I love it. And Kelly, besides all of that, you also have a podcast. I do. Can you tell me about that, please? Yeah, I have a podcast um, and I actually do it with my mom, who is also a fearless living coach and it's called Fearless Generations. Yes. And we talk about the 12 steps to uh, to freedom. So freedom is the other side of fear. So we give you 12 different uh, tools that can help you move past that fear. And actually the first one is awareness and the second is willingness. <laughs> and this month we're talking about compassion, um, which is step four. And compassion is really important. And with each of the steps, it always starts with you. As you give your self-compassion, you're then more able and capable to give it to others. And can people expect that 12th step at your workshop as well? Yes, they yeah. will get pieces of it at the workshop that's coming up. And um, my mom is actually going to be one of the presenters as well. And we're super excited for it. It's open to anyone who wants to come. And it really is going to be something that is going to teach you concrete things that you can take from there and actually create change in your life. Okay, Kelly, tell us when is this workshop happening? It is February 29th and it is, it's from 9 to 1. You can come at 8.30 to register and we're super excited. Kelly, thank you so much for being with us today. We really appreciate it and that workshop is going to be amazing because it's going to teach you, you know, how to face your fear, which is something yes. really important that people <laughs> should know. Thank you, Kelly.